this center has the ability to build spiritual awareness internationally and that is our intention here but it takes every one of us to see the importance of this community and commit to it <laughs> community is defined as a feeling of fellowship with others as a result of sharing common attitudes interests and goals as dr heather quotes often where two or more are gathered in my name there i am Coming together as a community is a catalyst for transformational growth. Growth for the individuals in the group and growth for the collective consciousness of that group. Our community here at Center for Spiritual Living, Capistrano Valley, is a collective consciousness of change. We are catalysts of healing for ourselves, each other, and our world. When we understand the bigness of this community to our world, we transcend rational mind thinking and help to bring a peaceful, more conscious world to our reality. Without our community, where would each of us be? Maybe learning and growing on our own, maybe not. When it's all said and done, we are each here at this center because we have found our spiritual home. I committed to this center a long time ago. I committed to it a long time ago. So no matter what's going on within my life here at the center, through the ups and the downs and the hills and the valleys and the peaks and everything, I'm committed. I'm here. So it makes the land so much more peaceful because I've already committed in my heart and in my mind and in my, my actions to being here 100%. So bring it on. <laughs> this is the home that is committed to our consistent growth. This is the home that is ever evolving itself so it can assist us in our own evolution. It is the home that welcomes us no matter what we have done, said, thought, or experienced in our lives. It welcomes all with no judgment, no conditions, and with only love. Just as we each care for our physical homes, we must also nurture and invest in the community and home that welcomes us every week. There is certainly power in the whole idea of giving back, of giving back whether it is your time, your talent, or your treasure, and to understand that you and I, we're owners of this community. It wouldn't exist without the people. We come together with like minds, with full hearts, and with love pouring out of ourselves in gratitude for the classes we have taken to evolve our consciousness, for a new way of raising our kids, for a youth center that teaches our next generation how to live in love and spread love, for our Wednesday faith lifts and our inspirational Sunday talks that each of us takes home a new way of thinking. Our individual commitment of our time, talents, and finances is essential for the growth and expansion of our spiritual home. Far beyond the monetary resources for the day-to-day -day activities of our center, our commitment is needed for our children to expand their knowledge of a spiritual life, for our choir and our fabulous band, for our social groups to come together to laugh and play, for our marketing team to be able to spread the message internationally about our center, and most importantly, for our practitioners, ministers, and senior minister, Dr. Heather Clark, to continue their spiritual growth so they can evolve ours. Without our support, none of this is possible. Commitment is about giving back to something that has inspired you in your life. It's not about an obligation to something. It's about holding your hand out in genuine generosity and expecting nothing in return. When we do, we receive it all back, multiplied, pressed down, and spilling over. We ask today for your commitment. Commit to giving your time to our center, maybe on a Sunday, maybe in another way. Commit to bringing your creative genius to this center and teaching us what you have to offer. And most importantly, commit a portion of your monetary resources to helping our center thrive financially. No matter what you can give is appreciated. Remember, more people giving a little is much more important than a few people giving a lot. Small amounts compound over time. If there's fear, don't give. When you have, when you have enough confidence in the law, when you have enough faith in the source, give with love, give easily, and let it go, knowing that that's one source is going to replenish whatever with more. More is going to come back. If you give with fear, 
you've stopped the process right there. It has to be with joy. You matter. You make a difference to this center. Your time is just as valuable. Your creativity is needed here and your financial commitment is essential and accepted with love and gratitude. Here's to making our home yours and to making the Center for Spiritual Living Capistrano Valley a global spiritual learning institution. That starts today and it starts with you.